hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good today so in today's video i have a mini reviews of few products that i have been testing out for quite some time now uh so these are makeup products that maybe you guys wanted me to review on or you know these are some new launches that i saw being released by affordable brands and i got my hands on these products and yeah i just wanted to give you guys like mini reviews of all these products i have applied most of them on my face as well so let's get into the video now also if you are someone who's new to my channel thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it here i hope you like the vibe the content i post daily on a daily basis so yeah you get to, uh, to see every day a new content on this channel so let's get into the video now also um yeah just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well if you haven't subscribed and uh, youtube is going to just update you with my videos every single day so let's get into the video now so the first thing that we have here is from Dermaco. Now this is the Dermaco 1% Collagen Daily Face Serum Cream. Now Dermaco do, do sent me, they sent me a lot of products and to try out. And some products I do test it out and some products I don't because I feel like that's not for my skin. So I kind of skipped the products. This one I have been testing it out for quite some time. And oh my god, I actually really, really love it. So this is like, as it says, it's a 1% collagen serum cream so the consistency of this is very serum like and a cream mixing together that's the consistency of this i really love the consistency it's very gel like yet at the same time it has this amazing you know uh cons like you know how do i say like water based type of a cream so i feel like this is just not enough of a moisturizer for me at least right now for winters and i don't think so you, you, you know you should be using this as a moisturizer i feel like it's more like a serum type of a product so this has collagen peptide in it green tea extract hyaluronic acid everything that is said here i love all the ingredients and it doesn't have fragrance so that is also a really good thing uh so for me i feel like yes it does plump my skin it does nourish my skin and yeah it's just something that i have been using on a day-to-day -day basis and i feel like it is very very soothing on the skin as well and i will continue to use this on a day-to-day -day basis in the night time and in my morning time skincare routine and yeah i will tell you guys when i run out of this that i'm going to buy it or not but so far so good i really do like this a lot so the next product we have here is actually a new launch and this is from NYBay. This is the NYBay Pro Strobe Cream and it is in the gold, uh, you know, uh, gold sapphire. Uh, this is the shade. So this one, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it is exactly like the MAC, you know, it looked exactly at least like the MAC Strobe Cream and it's supposed to be somewhat similar to the MAC Strobe Cream. Now, initially when I applied this, I actually thought it was like the MAC Strobe Cream, you know, the consistency how the you know how it settle the glowy look is or how dewy this is but over time when it settles down i feel like it is not exactly like the max strobe cream it has a tiny bit of bits of shimmers in here which initially when we apply it's very weird when initially you apply you feel like there isn't any glitter or shimmer particles in here but after it sets down, after it settles down into her skin, I feel like it leaves a very, very tiny specks of shimmers. I mean, that's totally up to you if you are, if you, you know, mind a little bit of shimmers here and there, because obviously we are going to be applying, uh, you know, foundation on top. So it's not going to show, but it's not that similar to the MAC Strobe Cream. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to compare this with the MAC Strobe Cream, like, you know, a head to head comparison because I am going to do a whole video dedicated uh, to MAC Strobe Cream dupes and alternatives, testing out everything so that you guys can have a better, clear idea which one is like a dupe and which one is not. So just wait for the video. I did, you know, I am buying a little bit of uh, alternative dupes here and there. So it's going to take like next month to arrive. So that's why I'm keeping this for that video also. So I just wanted to say that, that this is not exactly like a MAC Strobe cream but i do really like it it's not bad it doesn't show any you know shimmer particles or glitter particles at all on my skin after i applied the bb cream it's not showing at all and yeah i did really like it a lot especially for the price i just feel like it's really not a bad product but it's definitely not that similar to max strobe cream 
So the next product we have here is from e.l.f. Now, a lot of you guys suggested I try this one out, so I got it. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Now, initially when I applied this, I, I thought I wasn't going to like it, to be very honest. But I feel like it has grown on me and I am starting to like this a lot. So I feel like it has a small fiber-like particles in here, like very, very, very small, which my camera honestly cannot capture so it has very small um, fiber like particles that makes your hair look very fuller so if you have very thin hairs and very you know uh, like sparse hairs on your eyebrows i feel like this is going to be a really good product for you and yeah it does it is like a very mini mascara type of a thing i feel like it does uh, give me a little bit more volume on my eyelashes and this is something that i have been using you know i don't like the defined brow look anymore so this is the only product i have been using you know just brush 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 and that's it it doesn't give me the whole um soap brow effect which is pretty good i feel like i feel like i really am loving this whole natural brow thing that i have going on because i don't have a lot of sparse hair like my eyebrows are pretty good you know like pretty thick i would say so i don't mind just using this on my eyebrows and calling it a day so i just feel like it is like a perfect product for me and i do have to thank you guys for recommending this one because i absolutely did like it a lot so the next product I have here is something that I am wearing on my eyes. So this is the Ronzeal uh, Cosmetics Metallic Eyeliner. Now I have tried few of their products like Ronzeal from Ronzeal. They are extremely affordable. So I just wanted to give, you know, their product a go. I have tried out the concealer, which I did not like at all. I tried out their highlighter again, which I did not like at all. But still, I just got this because this was very inexpensive. I got this for only 90 rupees. I don't know what is the retail price of this one now. I think it was was on off and i got this on 90 rupees only so this one is i got it in the green uh, shade uh, amazing eyeliner for the price i mean it is not a very very long lasting liner i do have to say that but can you see the shine how beautiful it looks and it's very very easy to apply as well because i feel like the liner brush here is really good you know you have that control and it's not too much like it doesn't pick up a lot of product initially so that's really good you can go step by step and do your eyeliner really well i honestly am not that good at with liners i feel like I, my hand is very shaky when it comes to drawing liners but i absolutely love this liner i'm like so impressed with this because of the quality it doesn't even crack you know a lot of liners which is like metallic they sometimes would crack or they won't have that full-on pigmentation with this i feel like yes you have to you know dip your brush in twice or thrice to draw a good liner so uh, but i really do like it a lot it does it is really good like it, for the price i just feel like it is one of the best liners metallic liners at least that I have tried and this shade is also very pretty something I know that I would wear out so yeah definitely you guys can go ahead and check this liner out I am going to go ahead and buy a few more shades of this liner because I am impressed with the quality of this so the next liner we have here is something that oh my god you guys were asking yesterday in yesterday's video so much like you guys were asking me about the liner so much it was a lipstick video but you guys were just asking me about the liner only so this was the liner that was on my eyes today i didn't apply this because obviously i applied the metallic one so this is the ny bay truly matte liquid liner and it's in the shade brown boss brown oh my god this is a really really good product I just love, love, love the neutral brown tone that this liner has. It is a very dark coffee type of a liner, which I absolutely love the color so much. I feel like, you know, there are so many different shades of browns and sometimes a brown would not suit my skin tone or would not look good with each and every eyeshadow. With this brown, I feel like, you know, it's not too much in your face. I love the muted tone that this brown has and also it's like a very dark coffee type of a brown which makes it outstanding also the formula of this i absolutely love you guys already know i love the truly matte uh you know liners from ny bay so if you're looking for a good brown liner you can totally look into that you can check out my yesterday's video also you can see how the liner like looks on my eyes because i did show you guys like you know the liner up close like you know my face up close actually so you can see that uh but i feel like it's a really good one and especially especially the shade is just perfect. They nailed it with the shades of these liners. So the next product we have here is a product from Swiss Beauty that, oh my God, I, do, I, I thought it, I don't know if Swiss Beauty had these blushes. 
I thought it was a new release or something. I don't know. This is the Swiss Beauty blush and it's in the shade Soft Nude. Now, this is the most most beautiful soft nude honestly shade that i have it would look so good on brown skin like i saw this um, delivered to me i think i got this like a week back or something and i was like oh my god it is going to look beautiful on brown skin that's just the, my first impressions of this blush very sleek as well now i absolutely do like it a lot now if you compare this with the miss claire one the miss claire is shimmery this one isn't and i like the shade a little bit more better you know this one is a very very natural yet it is a matte blush it's not like a you know like a chunky powder matte it's not something that is going to look patchy also on your skin it is the most beautiful creamy matte blush like if you have this blush no in other uh packaging you would not believe this is so inexpensive honestly i'm telling you guys this is worth a try spare i am someone i love liquid and cream blushes but it's very hard for me to love a powder blush because i feel like you know the formulas are pretty much the same but with this one i feel like it is a very very creamy type of a powder blush and i feel like the pigmentation is also not like too much where it's going to be a lot on your skin or you're going to have clown cheeks i hate that when that happens i'm just so impressed with the quality of this i love it so much i i should have listened to you guys before when you guys suggested i try this one oh my god it is bomb and it is you are going to love it like if you like powder blushes especially this shade soft nude it's no it's not uh, similar to the k beauty one if you are wondering it's not i should have you know i didn't get the k beauty one now uh, but yeah it's not similar i will compare maybe in other other videos soon but this is not similar to the k beauty one although the formula is a little bit similar the the shade isn't so the next product i tried here is from swiss beauty now this is the lumi glow highlighter I got this because I thought it was a strobe cream. I don't know. They mentioned it like a strobe cream in, a, in the like purple website. So I got this because of that. Then I realized, okay, this is a highlighter. It's not a strobe cream. I honestly have like okay thoughts about it. It's not the best highlighter ever. Not the best liquid highlighter because I feel like the consistency of this highlighter is a little bit thick. Although it's not shimmery though I do have to say it's not a shimmery highlighter at all and I think so I'm going to like this in the summers more than in the winters in the winters I feel like my skin is already going through a dry phase so I want things that are a little bit more hydrating as well like the blush I just talked about even though it's a powder blush i know that this has that creamy kind of consistency to it creamy touch to it so it's not going to dry out or look patchy or dry on my skin now with this one i feel like it can lean you know to the dry side if you have oily skin i don't think so you're going to have any problem with that i hope i'm explaining this to you in a way that you understand i'm just saying that this is not shimmery it is really really a very beautiful subtle highlighter it doesn't have any visible shimmer particles or it's not chunky it doesn't have glitters to it it is a beautiful beautiful glow but i feel like for winters uh it's just a little bit too dry uh in summers i think i'm going to like it more for this weather i feel like i can skip this highlighter so the last product we have here is something that i have on my lips and this is the elf lip lacquer and it's in the shade moody now when i saw this i thought it was going to suit my lips perfectly but actually it, it this can be a little too light on my lips so i applied a lipstick underneath i applied the my normal regular ny bay that i have been using continuously lipstick so this one is a little bit on the thicker side i would say it's not exactly a very very thin formula but i like it it does stay a little bit more longer than your normal lip gloss i would say because of the thicker formula so you know when we like a formula that is extremely lightweight very glossy those kind of formulas doesn't stay on our lips for long this does this actually does stay for quite some time and that is something that i really like about this yet it looks very very juicy and all of that so i think i this is going to be my new favorite so far i really do like it it is only 320 rupees that is also a really nice price point for a lip lacquer uh yeah so i absolutely did like it and um again okay, the lip gloss video coming soon i just have a few more to test out i have the cuffs and lashes to test out i do have uh the lip oil some lip oils to test out after that i am going to bring you guys that video 
so yeah that was it for today's uh, video those were some mini reviews of products that i currently tested out or currently am testing out or you guys have suggested that i test out these products so these are just my mini reviews hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know a product that maybe you guys have been loving and that i should check out so anyway i will see you guys in my next video bye bye and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye